Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Bell Custom. So today I'm sharing with you my Prototype Z Blanca Street Fighter resin kit I just finished up. Now, I want to go over exactly what I did with him and how I came across uh, putting him all together. Um, putting them together is very easy. It actually wasn't that difficult as you've seen in my uh, past video. You just have a little things here and there. But overall, I think the hardest part about this kit is probably painting him. Because... I guess a mistake some people would do is if you take a, a green skin tone and you take green and then you just do shading and black, your character becomes very muted. So I, I studied the select screen of uh, Blanca on Street Fighter 4 and what uh, Capcom did was they have a really bright green and then they have like a blue, uh, dark blue green shading and then it goes to a black. But that's on the game screen and I understand why that's happening. But for a statue... You really don't want to do any kind of a black onto the green, at least in, unless you're going for a specific look. So what I did was he's painted in a really bright green straight out of a bottle from Golden. I forget the color green. And then what I did was I mixed up a special batch of that green with a dark blue uh, paint. And that became my second shading. And then from there I took that uh, little bit of a blue green shading mix and I mixed that in with some shading gray from golding and that's probably the darkest color green that's on him because you want to let the sculpt hit light in certain areas so you get those dark dark crevices you don't want to really force it too much so that's kind of what i went for and so it's basically a really bright green going to that dark bluish uh green and then uh from there we have that dark bluish green mixing with some shading gray now the shading gray probably areas are probably Stuff I did around the knee crevices, the knuckles, maybe some areas in here, maybe underneath the eyes. But I really didn't try to go too crazy with it. Because if you go too crazy, it just becomes very, you know, blah. And I think that's a mistake for a lot of new guys to painting and stuff. So I just kind of want to help you guys out. You know, when you're mixing the skin tone colors of not typical traditional skin tones... You know, if it's a blue character, if it's a red character, if it's a green character, you kind of want to have some fun with different colors. So that's kind of what I went with. So that was uh, that was probably the, you know, most difficult part, or almost the difficult part. So, and then uh, basically the fingernails, I followed the game, which is kind of like a dirty, worn, yellow, whitish fingernails that kind of pop out. And then uh, as for the hair... There's different things on different Blanca drawings in different games. Uh, some of them is just like a really bright red goes to an orange hair. Some of them is a very orangey hair to a yellow. So, so it's just different looks for different characters. So I kind of wanted to come up with my own little uh, scheme, I guess you can say. So what I did was I found three different colors, basically. I have a really red, and then I have an orange, and then I have a yellow. So... What I did was I painted it all up in a red, so I tried to get the darker areas of the red in the crevices, around in the piece there. And then what I did was I started blending orange going back, and then I started hitting highlights with uh, yellow. So I kind of wanted to follow the game, because you don't want to just do red to orange and yellow, and then it just kind of goes. You want to get each hair hitting it, so that's what I went with. So I wanted to give it that look where... We got some darker areas going to orange to yellow. But I didn't want to go too overly yellow. Uh, some uh, games have it where it's like a really bright yellow. I didn't really want to go there. But I did do it on the like the fur. I did some dry brushing of yellow for highlights. I think that's as far as I really wanted to go with it. I didn't want to bring it out too much. And as the face you can see. He's got beady eyes in the game. He doesn't have just white eyes. Uh, so that's kind of what I did is I did the beady eyes on him. I think that looks a little bit better than just pure white. Uh, dirty teeth. Get all the dirty face look, as you can see. And hopefully the camera's picking up some different shades of the blue and, you know. So as far as the pants, though, pants were uh, a lot of different browns in this pants. There's just a lot of different colors. I kept blending and mixing, blending and mixing. Uh, I wanted to get it really dirty, kind of that old, worn, leathery, tight, weird look. I weathered the uh, area here, weathered a little edge around there. And just tried to bring out the detail and stuff. Now, as for the uh, bracers, some of the game's weird. Some of the game bracers are the same color as the pants. Uh, some of them uh, are dark. Uh, so it's kind of weird. So I kind of wanted to keep it a little bit realistic. So we kind of went with... Uh, 
like a gun metal and I did some rust areas on it not much just subtle just to kind of keep it uh popped out a little bit so that's what I did with that now as far as the base this probably was the most difficult I think the base because if you uh, see the game the way the game is in Street Fighter 4 when he does his powers it's kind of like a really bright yellow coming up to like clear so kind of what I did was I kept all the yellow at the bottom and I kind of left it up and I left a little bit clears up around there. I didn't want to bring out too much yellow up in here just to kind of give it a little bit of a flow going. And the tricky part is in the game he does have electrical bolts. Now the electrical bolts are blue and but they got kind of a white fade around them because I think in the game they realize that too. If you have a yellow and you spray blue directly onto the yellow, it creates a green. And that's what you want to stay away from because it'll look weird having green bolts. So what I did was I mixed up some white, I took my time, and I kind of found all the bolts while I was working, and I did a white bolt around them with the airbrush. And it made it like, like you know, kind of like a, I guess you can say faded in a way. So that's what I did, and I did around all the bolts, and then what I did was I took a paintbrush with a clear blue, and I painted the blue on into the bolts because I was afraid that if you take the blue and you try to airbrush it on and it starts hitting all the yellow areas, you start creating a green tint going around. So I wanted to keep a blue as best as possible, so I did kind of like a heavy bolt, but then I went back in with my white again and I toned down the bolt, so I kind of kept it true to the game that it's a blue bolt in there but it's not hitting the yellows to the point where it's turning green so that's what I was afraid of and then what I did for fun is on the bottom in here it's all alclad chrome yellow clear so basically as you can see down there it's all chromed out so what I wanted to do was create the effect that on the bottom of him if you have any kind of a light hitting, you might get some yellow tint coming up underneath of him, which is kind of cool. And that's what I went for. And then as I was working, I was like, you know, we have this cool yellow clear going here, but then there's nothing hitting the base. And it didn't look really right to me, like you're not getting that electrical look. So if you can see in the light, we're getting kind of reflections a little bit. So what I did was I took the white, you know, airbrush with white, and I kind of hit in little areas on the base like it's kind of coming out and then I cleared yellow all that up and then what I did was I took my uh, clear uh, future floor polish and I really cleared all the base around so it looks like we're hitting and it's getting a reflection going around all the base as you can see so I wanted to have a little bit more fun than just having a black base going to the clear resin so that's kind of my goal so he stands in there with magnets really well uh, really cool uh, piece. Eric Sosa did a great job. Casting is great too. It's just it was a really fun piece. So, you know, worked out pretty good. He's a uh, very solid, pretty heavy. Uh, of course, on the bottom of the base, what I did was I uh, put the piece on the bottom as always. This is number five of one fifty. Signed it. I put my felt pads. So it worked out pretty good. So, and to give you an idea, what we'll do is we'll give you the booty shot underneath. As you can see, did the furs up in the bottom in here and all that. So, we got the, the nails on the feet. So, he goes in there pretty good. Very well balanced with the magnets. Worked out pretty good. So, uh, if you're a Street Fighter fan and you want a Blanca kit, definitely look into getting one of these. It worked out pretty good. And he looks mean as hell. So thanks for watching and we'll get up some more Street Fighter kits as they come out.